Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Booberry, we have a beer. This is Five Paddles Brewing Companies. We opened a brewery ESB for extra special bitter. Ooh. Now, ESBs I always find fairly boring. Um, I don't usually find anything extra special or bitter about them. But we'll give this a shot. There's been a couple of them that have surprised me. Uh, and these guys have surprised me quite often in the last two days, be it good or bad. But, um, 5.4% alcohol by volume. We opened a brewery. This is our ESB. Alright. That's a lot. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hopefully it sucks. <laughs> I hope it sucks. That'll be for an awesome review. I hope it sucks because that's my birthday present to you. Thanks, Chad. Right I feel the love. Rhino love. <laughs> Bitter. Nice color. I mean, it is. You can't say it doesn't have a good color to it. It's a little caramel like. Yep. A little it's not bit of head up there. Clear. Nope. No. A little haze a little to it. Haze. No head. Hmm. I don't really smell that much. Smell out of the bottle, you get a lot out of there. You're getting, yeah. You're getting caramel and chocolate and some toffee and. Yeah, you do get more of the. Well, Chad can smell all that, then I can't. But you don't get anything out of the glass. You are correct. The glass is basically odorless. Even the fancy glass it worked. Let's try it. Cheers. Huh. That's not bad. Mm, there's your uh, typical ESB. Caramel, toffee, and a little bit of an earthy bitterness on the background. Nice sweetness throughout. I think it, ba like the other flavors, balances the bitterness quite well, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, it does. I like it. I'm just saying this is your, your average taste that you're going to get from an ESB. It's right. basically like a nut brown. It's a, it's a deep, deep, beautiful, sweet beer with just a slight bitter on the back. Mm -hmm. It's just a sessionable beer. This is a beer you could sit down and drink a pitcher of. Definitely. It's pretty good. Like, for me to get rid of the bitterness, just that little bit that lingers, it's not that terrible, but I'd keep having a sip, right, to refresh it, to get rid of the bitterness from the last sip, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. But you'd sip it, you wouldn't, like, you would try to enjoy it, obviously. I don't care. Cool. I don't know what else to say about it, Chad. <laughs> no, there's not much else to say about it, it's enjoyable. Yeah. There's nothing special about the ESB. There are other beers, there was more to talk about this one. You get your caramel, you get your malt, you get and you get your bitterness on the background, earthy bitterness and English pop bitterness. Nothing else to say really. I'd give it a um I'd give it a flat seven. I could buy it, but I'd have to be in the mood to drink it. That's exactly what I was gonna give it to you, a flat seven, and I'm glad it's not any more carbonated than it is, because then I think that would be terrible. It's like yeah. I, I'll give it a flat seven as well. Alrighty, a seven from each of us for we opened a brewery from five paddles. Thank you guys. I want to check this. 